good evening to one and all. I will now make my way to the lane now, which is where it gets extremely dark. Make my way over to the lane statue on top of the hill here, which was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the Dunhill Signal Station. The statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball, supposing to be a globe symbolizing the ending of British colonialism. This is the pathway that leads to the signal station, which is a one way. So a car is not supposed to go up in the direction I'm heading in, it's supposed to only come down. But some people still do take the chance to come up. Most of the time, people that come up, it's people that don't know the how to get into the signal station. As you can see, outside it's dark. Are getting dark. We need to try and move around a little earlier. So that I won't be stuck in these places when the night comes. This time I want to be back downtown or uh, looking to get either in town or on a bus to town, not up in the country. Especially when outside getting that so fast. Anyhow. This is the lion, again, which was carved by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at Gunhill Signal Station. The statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball, symbolizing the ending of British colonialism. And from here, you can get a good view into the St. George Valley. The St. George Valley, you can see, are all into the city in Boishtown. You can see along the southwest coast, the Carla Bay area, you can see. All into the port, you can see. That this is the lion here, resting his paw on a big red round ball. The big red round ball symbolizes the ending of... The lion resting his paw on the ball symbolizes the ending of British colonialism, which means that the colonialism ended. The lion represents Britain, and the round ball represents the whole world, meaning that Britain wants to rule the whole world, including the West Indies, United States, United Kingdom, Europe, Africa, and parts of Central and South America. So again, I'm in the parish of St. George, which is in the center of the island. St. George was carved out of the parish of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael was, St. Michael is the mother parish and St. George was carved out of it. St. George is the by basket parish of Barbados. The parish that fed many Barbadians from the 1600s up until this present day. St. George is my father's birth parish, the parish in which my father was born and raised. And for those who don't know who my father is, Sachimura that sings or that used to sing years ago with the Santa Peppers group is my father and he is from St. George. This land is a historic landmark in Barrios. Back in the sixth, back in the early 19th, the Rastafarian community got together and painted this land in the Rastafarian colors, ice gold and green, red gold and green, whatever you want to call it. And by the next day, all efforts were put in place and the lion was repainted back into its usual white color with the ball, lion resting its foot on the ball. 
historical edifice in Barbados. Thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.